What is up you guys? In today's video, I'm going to be installing a hard cover for the bed, also known as a tanu cover. Let's get right to it. Well, here it is, and of course I'll put the link for this in the description below. But usually I've had a couple different ones on my channel, all of them being soft tops and trifold. Now this one is a trifold as well, but it is a hard top. So here it is, and I'm pretty sure you pronounce it Tanu Cover, but here it is by Yida Motor. They make a lot of different auto parts, as you guys can see right here. So let's go ahead and unbox this and show you guys how to install it, and then my opinion on how it looks. Alright, well here it is, packaged very nicely. So let's go ahead and take off all of this packaging. Alright, so I've installed one like this before, so it's pretty straightforward. They do give you a manual if you need it, but I'll show you guys right now, and we're basically going to put these metal clamps on the railing right here. Just make sure this is clear from any hooks, and then to pop this out, just bring this, push it in, and it'll come out like that. And we're going to put them all on the railing on the sides. Now that the railing is empty of any clamps, you want to take this sideways, actually like this, because the clamp is going to come from under. And you can just slide it in. So now that you have them both on here, you may need to loosen them with the Allen wrench that comes with it, just so it can slide a lot easier along the railing. And then go ahead and do the same thing to the other side, and then we're gonna put the hard cover on top, just to get kind of an overall view of how it's gonna sit. Okay, now that we have it all laid out and flat, you can actually kind of see how nice it is, and it's glossy. This thing is just looking really nice. Hard covers are the way to go. I'll talk a little more about it after I fully install it. Make sure you just have it kind of roughly to where you want it. So make sure on this side. Here is how you like it as well. But not too much forward, not too much back. Go ahead and just finish adjusting it. And once you finish doing that, then go ahead and fold it this way. And now we will clamp the first sides in place. So now what you want to do is go ahead and bring this to the side. And before you tighten this one up, align it as well. So this is going to end up clamping it in place basically. So let's go ahead and loosen it and get it all the way down and adjust it to size. And if you do lose one of these, there is a replacement part that it comes with just in case you need it. After I loosened it a lot, I was able to get it clamped in. So now once you've found that level of where it's supposed to be at, go ahead and tighten this one in place and then go ahead and clamp it in. And then this strap right here is going to be basically for backup. So make sure you just put this on the railing like that and go ahead and stretch it out. Make sure it is tight. Make sure this is still in the place you want it done and then tighten this up and go ahead and clamp it in place. Tighten this and do the same thing to that side. All right, so once this is clamped in place, this is tied in. This is clamped as well and tied in. Just make sure it is looking sturdy. This thing is not going anywhere. And let's go ahead and unfold this part. All right, so same thing as that one down there. You wanna go ahead and tighten this one up with the Ellen wrench that it comes with. So now there's a little bit of gap, but obviously you go ahead and press down and clamp it in place. And because it is universal, it'll be really tight and I can't loosen it any more than I already did but you're still able to do it, but you're just gonna need two hands to do so. So let's go ahead and tighten those in place and check it out. All right, it is all installed. Let's go ahead and take these off now. So here is how it's looking. It is a little shiny, which I kinda like. You guys can see that gloss on this side as well. So it's not that matte finish, it's that nicer gloss finish that makes the whole truck kinda pop out. Of course, this thing is super sturdy. It has a little bit of softness. Maybe it has a little cushion layer, but this thing is not going anywhere. I tell you, it is super hard. I mean, I can go ahead and just jump on here. Of course, it is super sturdy. And then when you go ahead and open your tailgate, I can actually put stuff in here that aren't gonna fly out. So conveniently, the packaging that this came in, I'm gonna go ahead and use it to throw it away because otherwise it would all fly out. And it is really nice in there. The only thing I would say is I wish this was a little bit of taller. So you guys are going to have to kind of, you know, pull it down and then lock it in place. Other than that, it also has lights in here. So if you go ahead and just press this, it gives you a nice little night light. Obviously, because I have the boxes, it's not doing much. But there's one right there. There's one there and also another one right there. So this thing is looking super nice and if I lock the tailgate, there is absolutely no way anyone is going to get anything from in here. You can try prying it as much as you want, but it's not going anywhere because it is strapped in from this side. 
that side it has that strap bolt right here and another one right there so this thing is not going anywhere so here's how it looks from a little bit of a distance i really like that hard cover a lot more than the soft cover on the truck all right you guys well man it's super hot we're going through a little heat wave here in california but i know it's not as hot as it is in other states so, so i shouldn't be complaining anyways i got the hard cover on you guys can see even through the back right there it's looking super dope and the only thing that i would say is that it is a little bit heavy so that could affect your gas mileage but it won't affect your gas mileage because this allows for more aerodynamics so it's not gonna you know do anything to the bed so some people say that it actually helps in gas mileage therefore it being heavy and it also helping i don't think it'll affect your gas mileage at all but I'll go ahead and check. I'll let you guys know down the line if it does affect it in any way. Other than that, this is really helpful for people that want to protect their stuff that they have in the back. A soft cover is also good, but I mean, if you get a knife and you just cut that thing, it's super easy to get inside. Obviously, we're not having crazy valuables in here, but you know, better safe than sorry. And if you're looking to protect your stuff, then this hard cover is the one for you. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So if you guys can please help out the channel by giving a quick like and a subscribe, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.